Joanna, standing here today before you is right where I want to be. It may be cliche, but I believe we are truly two pieces of one puzzle. I vividly remember our first summer together during sophomore year when you were introducing me to the hustle and bustle of New York City, and I was trying my best to impress you with my proper Southern manners. As we wandered the crowded streets of Times Square, you got annoyed at me for walking and talking too slowly. And when I held the door open for other people, you told me not to bother. I still remember being slightly surprised when I held on to an empty drink, and you genuinely called me a good person for not littering on the streets. What can I say today other than it's been eight intense roller coaster years together? Starting from three years of long distance between New York and Augusta, with all of the flight delays, misconnections, and resulting tears, just so that we could visit each other and spend a couple of days at the local oyster bar and movie theater. Or from each of us enduring a four hour daily commute, just so we could live together in our tiny one bedroom apartment in New Brunswick. There was never any doubt in my mind that it was all worth it, just to be able to see your beautiful face every night after work. I believe that true love is defined not by words, but by action. And we have proved this to one another time and time again. You are the love of my life, my best friend, my queen, my rock, and my better half. I want to grow old with you by my side and look back on our life with no regrets. You're still in my heart. It will, it will always be yours. You are one of a kind, and I'll never let you go. Monroe, weeks before we first said those three magic words to each other in a rundown apartment on top of a bar in College Town, I knew you were the one. I remember feeling like my heart was going to explode back then every time you smiled or kissed me. Even so many years later, I still get that warm fuzzy feeling when you hold my hand or when you blow the hair out of my face. Every so often, I still go to the, your side of the closet just to smell your clothes. I never thought I could love someone the way I love you, so wholeheartedly and so completely. You've taught me that sometimes it's okay to finish the song on the radio before turning the car off. That it's okay to break out and dance in public whenever the mood strikes. Before you, I had never sailed on a catamaran, hiked 17 miles along the Nepali coast, or ridden in a helicopter. I am forever grateful for the new experiences you've introduced to me, and I am equally thankful for all the everyday rituals that we've created together. I'm so excited to see where life will take us next and the types of memories that we will create. I love you so incredibly much, and I'm so proud to be able to stand with you by your side forever and always. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your beautiful bride.